All right, so here's how I get this cute floof. This is Dakota before his bath, all messy. So first we start out by getting the coat very wet. You wanna make sure they're wet all the way to the skin. That's gonna loosen up any dead dander. Then we do a first shampoo. You wanna make sure you get your hands in there. You wanna get them soaked off all the way down to the skin. Rinse pretty thoroughly, and then I apply a second shampoo. This pup's really dirty, and their coats really benefit from a second shampoo because it makes sure that you get them squeaky clean. And a good rinse. I actually listened there for the squeak. Now it's time for conditioner. Conditioner actually closes the hair shaft, so drying is quicker. Some people think that conditioner makes them dry slower, but that's not true. I clean out his ears while the conditioner sets for a minute and then I rinsed him and make sure you give a great towel dry. This is really an important step for efficient drying as well. I have my condenser cone on my high velocity dryer and my first step is to go over his entire body and blow out the bulk of the water. I do this in the tub as my space was small but you can do an entire dry in the tub if you like. I just find that you're going to get some spray back. So I get the majority of the moisture out away from the skin. And then we're going to move him to the table. This is where I'm going to focus on getting him about 90% dry from the skin out. I train my eye to look at every single hair on the dog while I'm drying. And you need to make sure they're dry from the skin out or the curl is going to reset. And the secret to a perfect groom is perfect prep. Now I'm fluff drying. I've taken off the condenser cone and I'm using my slicker brush and now my comb to go through his entire coat before I begin grooming. If you can't comb it through, your guard combs won't go through as well. Head to toe to tail to foot. Now I'm using my Andes Vita here and I have a half inch clip comb and I'm taking off the bulk on his coat. Great prep, like I said, makes for beautiful grooms. He's getting a guarded all trim, which is the same length all over, but I'm not taking off the tops of his feet because I still want him to have nice round feet. I can see that I back comb a few times and I take multiple passes with my clippers, not just one. That ensures a nice even trim. Get the bulk behind the ears, making sure that he is ready to go. Again, I take multiple passes with my clippers. Now I have a five comb on. This is how I do my sanitary trim because I just feel that it's safer and I don't want any nicks with an open blade on my five in one clipper. I do a sanitary last and then I disinfect my blade. Now I'm going in to do his paw pads and that's on a 40 blade with my Andes Vita five in one clipper. And you gotta get all that paw hair out make sure there's no matting. You can see how much he's got inside his paws. Then I do the front of the ears. I don't pluck ears, so I'm very careful around this area, but that allows for air circulation. Now it's time for nails. I have a diamond hen head Dremel bit. Sanding his nails. I prefer to sand rather than clip. Now it's time to do those paws. You can see I use my shear this there to gauge where his nails are comb out with my Utsumi pink finishing comb and you're going to do a trim on the back on each side and the front it's kind of like you create a box but then you round it out with your shears as you can see now I'm taking off those edges and I can have my 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 shears at an angle be really careful if you are inexperienced using shears on the back of the paws now these are my Utsumi speedy thinners I take those comb out the hair and this is going to help me get a nice even blend from the length of the legs into the feet. Take off the bulk around the top and around the sides making sure they blend in nicely. Yep. Just take your time. There's no need to rush. This is art. Thinners do a really nice job of 
You can take off a little at a time. You don't want to over trim. You want to be very delicate and take your time with the feet. The face and the feet, the owners notice that most. I go through with my fine Utsumi comb because I want to be sure there aren't any mats in between the toes. Again, you can see that my shears are not up and down. They are about at a 45 degree angle. Take off the front, then the sides, go back, use my shears to gauge where the edge of the foot is. Take the bulk off the back and the underside, I've already shaved out the pads. Use your comb, use your comb, use your comb. Now my thinning shears are gonna help me even all of those little sticky outies, blend beautifully, give it a soft look rather than a harsh line. Take it along the back of the foot as well. Snip, 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 snip. Keep working and make sure you're looking at the dog from all angles throughout the entirety of the groom. You wanna be sure that you can see from the inside of the paw as well. And I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I don't like any sticky outies. Again, you can see there's a little mat in the comb there that came out from between the toes. Edge those feet and you have to be mindful of the nail and you have to be mindful of the paw pad. These are very sharp shears. All shears are sharp and you want to be sure that you don't have a dog that, dis that dislikes having his feet held up if you're going to be using shears on the back of the foot. Then leave it standing because if they pull and move, you are going to cut the pad and we do not want that. Again, some more finish work here with my speedies to keep him balanced and to give me more room, I lift up his opposite paw. Come around the front, take that bulk off to make nice rounded putsies. The tootsies are everything. Blend into the leg, take off the bulk, shape, 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 use your comb, use your comb. Now it's time for the eyes. Taking off a little in the corner of the eyes here. To open them up, I comb everything forward my Utsumi half moon comb. Now I am making sure, I'm using my chunkers here, my Utsumi 6515s, the eyelashes, I hold them out of the way. Now I'm combing forward here, holding the eyelashes out of the way, and I'm taking the visor to the corner of the eye on either side, and this is to open up his view. Now I'm using my thinners to blend, blend, blend. That stop area because that is the area most where owners are gonna say it grows too fast. If you don't do a nice tight job there, blending, then it grows too fast and the owners are like, oh, it wasn't done well. Take a little at a time. Scissor with intention and shape, 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 shape. Now, all those long hair in the front of the mouth, you wanna make sure that you trim them as well be very careful and make sure you have a dog that likes that. That hair will go back into the mouth and it stinks and it looks disgusting if you don't clean up that lip line. Now I'm beginning to shape. I have his ears folded back so I can see the overall shape of his head with his ears out of the way. I'm taking the bulk off in front of his ears. Now I'm taking the bulk off under the chin, blending that into the length I set in under the neck, which was with a half inch comb, taking off the bulk on the cheeks, Notice I'm using like a tapping motion with my shears and that's what you should do with your chunkers and your blenders. You wanna make that sure those ears sit nicely. Now I'm going to take my shears and I'm gonna blend the length of the body and the neck into the back of the occiput. I always have to re-dry, re-fluff dry the faces because they look a little bit and they get their mouths wet, but that doesn't allow for a nice even trim. I step back, I check my work, taking more bulk off because I want that nice round head and make sure everything is blended beautifully. I use my shears at an angle in the, the corner of the mouth. Now my shear tips are pointing down there, but I am creating that angle that gives them a rounded look. And here's that cutie pie, that towel pick we all have to have. And then here's Dakota after. Thanks. <laughs>